Hello, Test Fam, and welcome to another Test Fam Family Adventure. Hey, guys. Hi, everybody. We are here in the city of India, and today we are visiting the Tamale Festival. Yes. That's right, guys. It is. She just had a picture with who? Finny Miles, right over there. <laughs> kind of creepy, but it's all good. Either way, guys. So we're here to try out every single tamale. It is Christmas time, and of course, tamales are a staple here for the Latin community and the Latin culture. And, and anybody, well, just for everybody that loves Mexican food and, of course, loves tamales. So make sure, if you haven't done so already, make sure to like and subscribe. Hit the like button, it'll help us out, guys. And let's get started. We got a lot of tamales to eat. Let's go. Let's do it. Festival. Hey, oh wait. Everywhere we go, we see Disney. Right, mommy? Yep. Yeah. Everywhere we go. Wait, wait, wait. Disney Gimmas Here for mommy. The tamales and the food. All right, so we found our first tamale stand. It's a Bedia tamale stand. I've never had one, so I'm super excited to try it out. Looks really cute. They have like a, their own little trailer and everything. So we're gonna order some food and see what it's all about. All right, here we go. So the first tamale of the day is a Bedia tamale. So this one, video usually cooked with goat, meat, or with beef. So today it's made out of beef. And they put it into a tamale. So they added the cilantro, the onions, and the meat on here. Of course, in a tamale form, not a taco form. So let's give it a try. Here we go. So good. At first, the flavors of the corn comes out, and the masa, and then the consomme, and the onions and cilantro make it taste like a taco, so it's like a two-in-one. It's really good. Mm. If it does come approved, I can eat about 10, 10 of these for a, for a Christmas breakfast. Not bad. <laughs> Doesn't come approved. All right, guys, first tamale of the day. It's the Bedia tamale. Looks so good. It's fully loaded. I'm gonna get some of that meat, some of that salsa. Sorry, right in. Mm. It's so good. The masa is not dry, it's super moist. Super flavorful. The salsa is perfectly spicy. I like it a lot. I'm, I'm about to go get another one. I don't think I'm gonna share this one. All right, so before we head on over to our next tamale stall, we're gonna stop by at this place called Iced Above, which they have drinks that are really awesomely dressed with candy, chamoy, uh, and they're just real, really, really clever drinks. So let's give these a try, guys. Let's go and get, that's what our whistle. <laughs> lemonade I believe with blue raspberries so you can get them mixed or you can get them separately they're non-alcoholic and it's just like a lemonade basically with all this fun stuff on top now. How's it baby? <laughs> Would you get it again? Yeah? You get a thumbs up? massive it was what 12 bucks I don't know, but not bad because they give you like a big old handful of, of gummy worms and chamoy and a big old tub of just like juice and what kind of juices do you said lemonade it's pineapple and like blue raspberry lemonade mm. this one will keep me up all night long 
All right, so we're at our next tamale booth. We're um, trying a tamale from LLDM. They're they're from Santa Barbara, and they're uh, they're how do I say it? They're most award-winning tamales. <laughs> Sorry, I can't talk today. Okay, they're the busiest stall. All right? these tamales, I can't talk. So yeah, it's one of the busiest stalls. We're gonna give it a try. I think Dave ordered the pork tamale. Oh, let's see. I love that it's steaming. Look at that. Pretty good. I felt <clears throat> <laughs> the, the chili's getting to me. I feel like in the years past, the tamales I wasn't like a huge fan of. Like I know they're known for tamales here at the Tamale Festival, but so far all the ones we've had so far have been like 10 out of 10. They're pretty good, really flavorful. I do like it. And I love the spicy salsa too. All right, 10 out of 10, huh? We'll see about that. It's pretty good. I mean, the video one was my favorite, but this one is really good too. We'll see why they're award winning. I love that they've all been like nice and moist. Okay. Right? That's good place. The masa's good, it's seasoned well. The chilies come out, but it's not too strong or overpowering. And the pork is just beautifully marinated and slow cooked and so soft it just melts in your mouth. Award winning, okay. So, so the cool thing about this festival, it's not just the tamales that they sell here. What else do they sell here? Um, I don't know. I think it's tamales. I don't know what else they sell. They sell pupusas, they sell tacos, they sell treats, they sell kettle corn. It's like a big old street fair type of night market, swami type thing set up out here. So it's pretty cool. Nice place to take the family. They do search and back check you when you're walking in so you feel safe. It's enclosed. They got security and police officers everywhere. So. It's a pretty safe community event, guys. Pretty chill. And yes, they do sell alcohol. Brenda's been asking for alcohol today. Oh, he's slacking it. I haven't had a drink yet. Slacking it, guys. We want to put that on there. That's going to be the word of the day. Slacking it. Pretty, put one of these little chaboy chingaderas in it, put some fruit, they put a little uh, tahini rim around it, so let's give it a try right here. Woo! Yeah, that's actually good, guys. 11% right here. Mm. Definitely for a cold tamale day, this will keep you warm. All right, so I had Dave give me a cocktail because I had been feeding for one. Um, this one is from Beatbox. I think it's like a wine base type of um, cocktail. And it's 11%, so let's give it a try. I liked it. Was it good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not bad, huh? That's really good. That's really good. You can't even taste alcohol, but 11%? Yeah. Big shout fun. out to the Toronto staff working at that tent today, guys. You guys were awesome. You guys were really nice. A big shout out to them. Customer service on par. Their products on par. Their drinks on par. Make sure you guys stop by. Check them out. That's Eat pretty box. good. Not gonna lie. It's like refreshing and light. It's not like a super heavy wine case either. I like it. 10 out of 10 guys, try it out. All right, so now our next stop is our Inland Empire tamales right here. This one is a chicken and green sauce. Tamale? Yeah. So let's give it a try guys. Steaming, it's super hot. Oh my God, that's smooth. Mm. You know those little taquitos that you get that have that green sauce in it with the chicken in it? It's just, just like that. But the only difference is this is steaming and hot and it melts right in your mouth. That is really good. Inland Empire tamales, guys. I give this a 10. Or 5 out of 5, 10 out of 10. Boom shakalaka. Randy wants them? Can't go get some. <laughs> That's <awesome>. <laughs> <laughs> good. Thanks for trying. Damn, you said you want to try it, but take the whole damn thing. <laughs> trying to get some chicken. Jeez. Some chicken there. It's really good, isn't it? It's not my favorite. I'm not a big chicken person. Maybe that's why. I like the pork tamales personally. 
Has good flavor, a little dry for me. But I'd say like a seven out of 10. Not a 10 out of 10. You wanna know why it's probably not the best? Cause you're drinking your alky. Mm. I need it to wash it down. Okay, so this one is long, one of the longest lines that's here is because this vendor was the winner of last year's tamale uh, festival contest. So, and it says just gourmet tamales. I'm not quite sure of the name, but that's what it says. But we'll, we'll put it up on the screen for you. All right, after about an hour wait, guys, we're next. They better be wrong for an hour wait. All right, guys, we got these award-winning tamales. The one thing I noticed is they don't skip out on the pork. Look at that, it's loaded. One of my pet peeves is when they don't put enough meat and all masa. This one, it looks like the opposite. All right, guys, here we go. It's really good. It's like a different type of flavor. The meat is, again, super tender, really flavorful. Wow. Something about it is just different. Some, like nothing that I've ever had. Really good. 11 out of 10. That says a lot. <laughs> All right, this is the 11, 11 out of 10. So I'm out here, something that Miranda's never had before. Only have 12 bites though. We'll see, we'll see, let's see. Okay. But in the chicken one, Kind of this is like the other pork one, except yeah, you're right. You do put a lot more meat in this one. Um, and the chili flavor from the tomato that they use in the chili is a lot more like it's a lot more bold. Um, and this pack of flavor and the and, and the masa is really nice, really nicely seasoned. Okay, ten out of ten. Not bad. We just have one more waiting for us. That's the chicharron one, and that one's mine. That was so waiting. Alright, All right, so after an additional wait, I had to wait for these, but it's because they're just being done. So this is a chicharron tamale right here. And this is usually made out of pork meat, but just cooked in a different way. Oh yeah. How's that? I never had a chicken on the Never either? It's spicy too, wow. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, we've done more. Mmm. Mmm. It's chewy, but soft. You can taste the chicken on it. It's so good. Mm. Really good. They did not mess around with me. Look. What's your rating? You can taste the chicken on here, pork skin. I say a solid 10 out of 10. For, for a unique flavor, ooh, the spiciness. That is good. Mm. Try it. Dang, guys, you can really see the chili in here. Look at that. I thought it was just all meat, but it looks like a salsa, too. Let's see if it's a real 10 out of 10. I don't anymore. Oh, oh my god. The salsa knot is amazing. I can definitely see why they won so many awards because these are the best so far that we've had. That's really good. You're not getting this one back. <laughs> okay, so one of the interesting tamales that we found here so far has to be this coffee tamale. I've never even heard of such a thing before, but you know, we had to try it for the vlog and for our viewers. So, let's dive right in. It smells really good. It smells like Christmas, a Christmas tamale. It smells like a Starbucks drink tamale. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like a Starbucks tamale. It's really like unique. You know what it tastes like to me? It's like a hot chocolate tamale. It's actually pretty good. It's sweet, has like cinnamon, hints of coffee. Um, yeah, I would not knock it. It's really good. It reminds me more of like a hot chocolate tamale though. It's really good. I would say like an 8 out of 10 for a dessert tamale. 
Try it out. Look at Escondido tamales. Alright guys, so I'm over here singing on one of Yala songs, I'm, I'm gonna try this coffee, uh, tamale, hopefully I don't get the shits. It tastes like a coffee, pastry, coffee. It's, it's, it's really unique. It's not gross. It's just, it hits you weird. <laughs> it's actually good. Arriba los tamales! Oh, baby. I don't know what you said, but sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh! adventure we played some games we had some tamales a got a lot of heartburn now thanks to Miranda which one was your favorite uh, I would say that award-winning one that we tried they're all award-winning ah Miranda's the kind of girl that likes a lot of meat that's why she's with me <laughs> ladies and gentlemen if you haven't already done so make sure to like and subscribe guys we're your dad's family happy holidays from the tamale festival here in India California we wish you guys a happy holidays stay safe and above all eat some tamales Bye guys! <laughs>